705. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. You're started so you can open the meeting, Charles. You need a motion. Great. A motion to commence the November uh, Budget Advisory Committee meeting for the Village of Mamaroneck. So I make a motion. I second. Somebody, favor? Needs to, somebody needs to volunteer to take notes. I'm uh, not it. I'll, 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 uh, I would take that on if you would like tonight. Huh. Thanks, okay. Bill. Thanks, Bill. So who made the motion to open? I Ellen. think a couple of us did, but we'll say me. Uh, Ellen made the motion. Who seconded? Bill. Ed. I did, and, Bill. <laughs> okay, Bill, you seconded. Yeah. So you can record that, and we can go forward. The floor okay. is all yours, Charles. Great. Um, can we have a motion to uh, formally approve the minutes? Uh, from last month's meeting? I'll move the minutes. For the second. I second. Who is, I, who is that? Ellen seconded it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Can I make a reminder that the minutes be sent to Sally? Yep, we'll do. What was that? Um, <laughs> Just a reminder to send the minutes, uh, the approved minutes to Sally. Yeah, I think I sent them uh, probably preemptively um, with the supporting materials for tonight. So they should have. Right. Last they month. take that as a draft, not as the final approved. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. I'll re forward that. Um, uh, was that Ellen who seconded the, the, the minutes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Where are my earphones? Aren't they in there? Can you guys see the um, capital budget framework pulled up? It's I small. It. Yep. Small. Let me see if I can blow it up. This. No, I just better? not taking the whole screen like it used to, but that's Can fine. Molly? It's not taking up the whole screen? No. Hmm. Let's try this again. Is that any better? No. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, We can only see the first paragraph, Charles. We can okay, so I mean, I can I can do this, but yes. then it's going to be smaller. Is that oh, you can't make it a little bit larger? You know, incremental. I make it, I, I, yeah, I can make it larger and then just scroll down. That's good. Like that's kind that's of, good. That's good. Like that. Okay. Yep. Okay. So yeah. So there were. You know, a, a, a couple of additional rounds. You know, some some edits. Um, I incorporated, I believe, the changes that were last circulated. <clears throat> um, is everybody? I'll, I'll I'll reread it one more time just to make sure there's there's no formatting or like withstanding grammatical things to adjust, but content wise um, and basic grammatical changes that were incorporated it, 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 is everybody pretty comfortable with the document at this point you know we put the efforts forth to reflect staff comments um, we, we th I think we all think we were able to capture most of those um, and the next step would be to kind of resubmit it indicate that we attempted to reflect this, the suggestions and then you know leave it Dan with with the board um, and with the staff to decide if they want to move forward with you know formalizing it or reworking it further etc um, I thought we were going to um, 
before we did that, <clears throat> make sure we understood better how they did their applied their evaluation criteria, um, so we could either commend them for for it or suggest um, revisions in how they did it. That's what we talked about at the last meeting. Uh, I, I, I don't have a recollection of that myself. You mean to, to critique them, uh, Ed? Well, once we, it's hard, you know, I don't think our document is, is, is complete without mentioning specifically that they did apply some kind of evaluation criteria. As we discussed at the last meeting, um, we believe that it was uh, the controller's criteria. Um, and then they did some like other weighting um, so that the, the projects with under the values given as at, at the criteria, um, other, the, the highest ranked wasn't always a top pick, um, but they did something else, which I don't, I'm not sure that I understood and I didn't think some of the board members understood, but we, we, we don't mention the fact that they did do that. And, and um, I, I thought at the last meeting, we decided that we wouldn't comment on how they did it until we better understood how it was done. I, I, if, if this document um, as a framework is, is, is hopefully going to be used long term, um, the, 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 the criteria structure that we're reflecting is, I think, you know, fairly straightforward and to some degree relatively structured in a way where there can be objectivity. Um, for us to go through the exchange of, of, of understanding what they've done, I think is critical, but to then try to, you know, communicate that methodology in a long-term framework i don't i don't know that we would want to hold up getting this sort of out and then try to understand it over time and then make a decision whether that methodology you know should be included within the framework yeah just a uh a, a quick update on that. At the last um, trustees meeting, they were discussing the different capital projects. And what the village manager indicated was that they presented to the trustees, one, um, the um, capital budget based on the um, score rating that they did, two, one where the staff rated the projects and the third one where the village manager rated the projects and the village manager basically told the trustees you pick whichever whichever one you like each one has a spreadsheet each one has a list on it you you tell us now which which projects you want done or which which list you want to use and he left it at that so they have Thanks for the feedback. I, 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 I mean, and I, I, I definitely think it's, it's, it's really important to understand um, what's being used right now, which I, again, I, I don't. Um, and then from there, you know, broadly, you know, our group, staff, the board, you know, arriving at some conclusions about what's going to work best. But as far as a, a I guess on a couple of levels, one as a what we would recommend as a framework, maybe in straightforward form. I like what we have, um, and it's also because we have a lot of work ahead of us to be able to try to put this document somewhat behind us for the time being, at least. Um, Charles, I mean, you know, 
to me, I think we get ourselves in trouble um, when we step on toes and, and without at least acknowledging that they applied, that, you know, they're attempting to do this, that they applied criteria, um, whether you put it in this document or the, or the document that you put, uh, you transmit this to them, we should acknowledge that, you know, those facts and, and say that we look, you know, we would look to be, have a, you know, reach a better understanding of how they did it. Agreed. I, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I think really I would asking. vote. I'm not saying, you know, we shouldn't give this to them, but we we can't give them something about capital budget evaluation criteria without acknowledging that they've done that. You know, we drafted this back two years ago sometime. Uh, it hadn't been done. And that's, that's how this was drafted. So I think we have to acknowledge that, that we're in a different place. But it, right. This, makes, is what, I, this is what we discussed I would, at I the would, last we, meeting. It is. I mean, I would I would lean toward me, or I, I can take a shot at drafting the email, and then we can get your fee, or if somebody else would prefer to draft it, that's that's great too. Um, but I I would lean toward indicating that in in a body of an email that you know we've we've incorporated comments and suggestions. Here's the document. We recognize, you know, we hope to be able to engage to better understand, you know, the current methodology being used, um, and 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 when just, you know, and if decisions are reached about how to use that going forward, that that's reflected in the document um, as a subsequent revision, you know, something to that effect. Right, because you know we're asking the board to adopt these, adopt this. Okay, I mean, but I guess. Um, Charles, I'm okay do, with what anyone... you, I'm okay with what you just said. Okay, yeah, I, and because it, 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 it may not be adopted until that happens anyway, and then we're to your point, you know, acknowledging that we recognize that there is sort of an ancillary methodology that is being used and we need to better understand it to be able to and and i guess decisions being reached to glenn's point about what what the intention is going forward so i i mean i can take a shot at just dra putting a draft together for us to look at with the document to then subsequently go out um if, if you guys want okay cool Uh, Charles, and anything else with this for now? Um, can, can you hear me? Is that you, Bill? Yeah, I, I don't know if you're able to hear me or not. Uh, yes. Okay. I, I, so you're going to draft us in the middle, but to go with uh, the uh, 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 with the, uh, the document. Uh, Bill, you're breaking up on my end. I don't know. Can, can any can have can other people? I can't hear, hear him either. Is this any better? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're going to draft a a, a transmittal uh, uh, to, to go with the um, uh, with the document. Is that what you're yeah, saying? I'll put an email together, you know, indicating that we've attempted to incorporate staff comments. Here's a revision. Um, we're handing it off for you guys to, you know, the, 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 the board and staff to be able to further work with the document as they see fit. Um, but that we recognize that we're not reflecting, um, the, you know, the extent of the current methodology being utilized. It's one of the you know, objectives of the budget committee to carve out time to work with staff and the board to better understand how the methodology works. And um, as they collectively, you know, ar ar arrive at what form the methodology will take going forward, that that could be memorialized in a subsequent revision to the document. Do we want 
I, mean, I don't know. Do, do we want to continue to have an ongoing project of evaluating their procedure each year to see whether it complies? And if it doesn't, then we amend our, uh, our document to follow what they did? Uh, That's a very good question. And I would say no. Our recommendations are our recommendations. Yeah, that, I mean that's what I that's what I think. Um, we present them with the with this bit of advice, and then it's up to them if they're going to use it or not use it. But I don't. I didn't think we were going to monitor um, their activity, and I could imagine uh, something being viewed as a monitor, not uh, being to. Uh, the mayor's liking. I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to monitor them, Bill. What we're trying to do is better understand what you know, what their evaluation criteria are and how it's applied. And then, if we feel it necessary, we can comment on that. If we don't, that, we that's, what I, that's what I call monitoring. Uh, no, that's not monitoring. Well, it is. You you review what they do, and you and and you. Uh, and you react to it. Um, uh, uh, I think one, one thing I go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think where we um, got hung up on this last at the last meeting was when we were trying to ensure we were incorporating the staff feedback, and that included how they ranked. And maybe to Bill's point, we don't need to include how they rank things, um, but it's more of an acknowledgement that a different ranking was used, you know, which it will be in your email, Charles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and to, to your point, Ellen, I, you know, one of the things that jumped out at me, uh, yeah, A, the importance of trying to incorporate staff feedback is, is great in theory. And I imagine that there are scenarios. I mean, I like a one through five, the simplicity, the straightforwardness of it. But in the event that you had, you know, multiple projects, both ranking as ones, if you then had staff preference on top of that sort of as the tie break concept, or as a, you know, sort of a subset of that, you know, that, that could carry the weight in the context within um, projects that both, you know, score the same on the one through five scale would, would be a thought. But if that were to not work, somehow being able to incorporate, utilize, and integrate staff feedback is, 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 is a really great concept, again, in theory, and, and then how the mechanics of that are working or could work. Is, is why giving it, you know, the attention maybe from our perspective, you know, is warranted. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to modify our document to be 100% in agreement with what the staff thinks today. You know, Bill's right. We're going to be continually changing this document every time they do something different. These, you know, right. if, if we want to take the position these are our recommendations and either the board accepts them or they don't, or they modify it. It's that simple. Right. And with, with you know, to, to Ed's point with, with the acknowledgement that we're, we're recognizing X, Y, and Z with respect to the current methodology and that, you know, if it's, if, you know, if, if, if it's determined that again, our, our not understanding it, at, at this point, we're not at liberty to communicate it in the document, but, but we genuinely are interested in better understanding it. And then, you know, it, it, it could be revisited going forward, whether, you know, from our perspective, we want to incorporate it. Not so much just following reactively to always have to um, revise our recommendations to be reflective of what's being done. But in this case, to revise or modify because of a, you know a current lack of understanding that might warrant from our perspective revising accordingly once we you know we gain that 
clarity. And then we're also acknowledging that we, we, we recognize that we haven't reflected what they're doing, but largely because we don't fully understand it. Yep. I don't really, personally, I, th I, think, I think the document could just stand on its own. Um, I don't think we have to explain uh, um, to them our failure to uh, understand the differences. You know, it was a piece of, it was a piece of, uh, it's a piece of advice we've given. It seems to me it can have some permanence and, that, and they can refer to it as they see fit. And as uh, the mayor points out, uh, we're advisors and then the board does as it sees fit. Um, can, I, can I just add, Charles, a few thoughts? Uh, Please. If I could. Um, I, I'm going to repeat what I said at the last meeting, which was, uh, I'm saying this jokingly, which was not embraced, I don't think, by anyone. But this discussion seems to, to me to bring this back to the forefront. Now, I'm looking, I have in front of me the published capital improvement plan, 21 to 26. Now, that has, that goes a long way toward implementing what we have recommended. Uh, eligibility, uh, the criterion, there was weighted, there was weights given and so on. And the projects were ranked. Now, that document has the village manager, I'll call it version, in description and detail of the eligibility of, of the criterion and the weights for each criterion. And, you know, gives the rating scale for each one. Now, that's a significant expansion on what we had. So they have adopted already a set of evaluation criteria, which adds one called the Board of Trustees Initiatives. So there are six instead of five. So they have already adopted that based upon the fact that it's in their document. Now, what's confusing is number one is that they follow their document in the published capital budget with our document. So there's a inconsistency between the two documents. Um, my preference is to, to, as I suggested last time, is to, to, in many respects, forget about our document, acknowledge the fact that they have gone a long way toward what we recommended in that document. And I think, Charles, your notion of sending it to them is good. I mean, I don't necessarily disagree with that, but I think we'd be better off working off what they have done. And there are lots of gaps in the scoring and you know, how they arrived at the priorities. We, had, we struggled at the last meeting trying to figure that out. And clearly none of us could figure it out. Um, for example, there is no, even the simplest thing like saying, what the total amount is for each year does not appear anywhere. So we don't even know the size of the total capital plan, of the capital plan that's listed there, nor do we know how many projects are actually being, you know, uh, would be funded. So um, there's, a, there's a ways to go, but my preference is to build off of what has been done by the staff, and again, I'll repeat it again, is I think that they've gone a long way toward uh, putting on paper in their own words, what we recommended. Right, so Len, I hear where you're coming from and normally I wouldn't disagree with you, but I'm about to. Sure. <laughs> uh, after we had submitted this document and it was discussed by the board, which was after what you're referencing was posted on the village website. 
so after the board objected to our document, we then got feedback from the staff objecting to the document that they had already posted. So at that work session meeting, I had volunteered us to take the feedback and rework the document. And that's really the, the loop we're trying to close here. Yeah, but we my recollection is that the work session occurred before the publication of the... No. Because it was a work session before the budget was adopted is my... No, this was the work session later in the summer. It was when you were in Maine. Oh, okay. It was the stuff you missed. Okay, but 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 then that's fine. We can and that's why we can... we're just doing this. We're cleaning it up based on their feedback. Yeah. And, okay. So as I said, I don't necessarily object to what having Charles send it to them. I said that, but it's. I, I think Charles in his email, I would suggest, is that you know saying based upon the staff. Um, comments, we've edited our document. However, however, we recognize that the staff has gone a long way toward implementing or adopting um, uh, the approaches or the criteria that, that we set forth. Um, in addition, the staff also included a scoring and ranking system. We believe that we can offer advice or make suggestions about how that can be improved. And I'm getting back again to the notion of they have ownership, rightly so, of what they put forward in this document. And I think we can offer, once we understand their approach, we can offer some some advice, some helpful advice on how to make it more understandable. I think that was Ed's term at our last meeting, how to make it more understanding or have, a, have the public have a better understanding as to what's presented. So, but, but anyway, that, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this whole thing because we shouldn't spend any more time in my view of editing this document 20 more times because I think I, agree. I think we're well past that. Agreed. <clears throat> okay, I will um, put a very brief uh, draft email together, send that out to everyone for the document to accompany and, and we can go from there with that. Um, everybody okay with that for next steps with us? Yes. Yep. Okay, great. Um, uh, this, this is Dan. I just need, um, I am fascinated by the conversation uh, and the views. And uh, I just want to let you know that the board has not adopted the capital budget or any portion thereof or any principles. Um, and that is that, that is a drawback, in my view, for how to operate for the future. Uh, <clears throat> we did go through a priority list that Jerry laid out, and for the most part, have thought that it is prudent, but we have never adopted it. We've never adopted anything. We've had it on our work session to go over. It is on our work session again for uh, the 8th to go through. I do not know whether we can go through it or not. There is a lot happening in the village uh, at this point uh, that is draining everybody's time and energies. Uh, so I do not know what will be, you know, you know what's going to happen. But, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, just, just so you know, um, and my suggestion is that um, you know that at some point in time, it, it, whatever you send to the board, I think you would want to ask specifically for a meeting to help 
set guidelines for the future to help facilitate budget reviews? So when we move forward with the operating budget document to meet with the board, maybe we combine the two meetings or the two topics. Well, I would suggest you ask for the meeting now because I do not believe that we will meet with you before December or January. We're just, you have no yep. idea the backlog yeah. and the number of things that have to be done. Well, yep. Okay. But um, I'm just saying rather than ask for two separate meetings, yeah. I think we have a better shot of doing one meeting. Okay. okay. But that's, that, that, that's, that's what I would do. And I would send it uh, jointly to the board and the manager and the assistant manager at Augie. I would send it to everybody as the, you know, the, um, the two rather than the CCs. But that's that's mm -hmm. just a suggestion. I, I don't feel that strongly about it. I do not know why all of a sudden the screen has now changed to the committee member. Did you, Charles, did you do that? <laughs> I, I did. I, I kind of went out of sequence with our agenda. Uh, no, I, no, no, like I we just were... wanted to make sure that I didn't hit. I've, I've been having real trouble with the computers today. so. I just want to make sure that I didn't step on this thing with golf shoes. <laughs> Wasn't you, Dan? <laughs> um, okay. Are we good for now with uh, the capital budget document topic? And um, we can briefly talk about the committee terms uh, and then go into the operating budget document? Sure. Sure. Great. Yeah. So I have the uh, committee member on the membership on the village website pulled up. Um, it looks like Ellen and I are uh, due for our terms to expire in December. Um, well, and that you, everybody else, you, Ellen, and John and Campbell John. as well. Yes. Well, John um, hasn't been at like four or five meetings. So I don't know what's happening. I, I understand. So the, the, uh, the, so the question is, do either one of you wish to continue, be masochistic enough to continue or not? <laughs> I had already sent in the email asking to be considered to be extended. Charles? Which, uh, yeah, I, me as well. Um, okay, so what we need is suggestion. If you have any suggestions for a, an additional person, because uh, we've not heard from John, and I don't, John is not on this call as I've, as far as I can see, maybe he is, uh, but not as far as I. No, he's not. Um, you know, if John is not on, if John, if you're here, say so, say something. If you're not here, then we need to think about an additional person. Um, and if anybody has any suggestions, please get them to me ASAP. Okay, and and uh, Ellen, you mentioned that you is the procedure to um, email acknowledging that we would like to continue. Yes, and you, need, you need to email Sally? Sally to say that you would like to re up. Which okay. I did, and Augie took that and acknowledged it and forwarded it to the board. And Kelly actually responded to me, so I know it's been received. Okay. I'll, I'll do the same. Um, with respect to John, um, I've been through this exercise with a, a, a prior board member. I, I can reach out to him to gauge his interest in continuing. Um, he attended uh, quite a number of meetings over the years. He has not for quite some time now, maybe, you know, like we were saying, maybe four in a row. I think there's there's language about not being able to miss consecutive meetings. Um, does everyone, or does, does anyone wanna share an opinion about how I'm approaching that? I think the last time, irrespective of the prior member sort of having missed too many consecutive meetings, we, I guess, agreed to as the next step gauge their barometer for what they wanna do and then we can make a decision or does anybody wanna you know, I would say since John has gone missing, and I don't mean to sound 
critical or nasty, but he hasn't really contributed a lot. I would see if there's anyone else interested. I wouldn't follow up with him, Charles. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, procedurally um, noted and, and procedurally, uh, Dan, um, I mean, you know, courtesy aside, there's no obligation procedurally to reach out to him for a renewal at this point or um, I will try and attempt to give him a call out of courtesy, uh, but technically he is not allowed to be on the committee because of the number of meetings he missed. Uh, you know, I think it was three meetings you can't miss or something like that. Uh, something like that. And it's actually the village manager who can remove them. But uh, the appointments will be made by the board. People who are interested need to... Um, Fantastic, okay. I'm sorry, I'm multitasking because I'm running five hours behind today. No, um, uh, the procedure is <laughs> if you know anybody who wants to apply, they should. They need to apply directly to Sally Roberts with a re resume, uh, but um, I'm happy to reach out to people to urge them to do so if we have people who we think are good and be masochistic enough to help uh, on our approach to life. They do not have to be accountants. They just have to have an understanding of how to try and make budgeting work better. I just texted a friend of mine who's in finance for a global bank. See if she's interested. Well, then, then that person has to bring uh, <clears throat> samples for everybody to, uh, to have uh, to join. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I think your idea of contacting John is a good one, though, because he should at least learn that he's not being renewed. No, I, I, it's the common courtesy to do, and yeah. uh, I, I, as the trustee liaison, I, I, I'm not uptight about doing it. Um, I just have to find the time to connect with him, but I, I will do that, and either we'll connect or we don't connect. Sorry, I did not mean to interrupt uh, your, uh, you were on a roll, uh, Charles, so keep on going. Oh. Okay, so so moving on from that, um, I can everybody see the um, operating budget document? Right, so this is the document we all approved. I emailed it and copied the budget committee. I sent it to Jerry, Dan Sarnoff, and Augie on October 12th. I did a follow-up with the three of them, did not copy the budget committee on October 27th. And I called Jerry's office yesterday and left a message asking him to call me back. And I've heard nothing. So However, there, were, there were no responses to your email, Alan, is that what, correct? Or your correct. emails? <laughs> correct, zero okay. responses. However, on October 21st or 22nd, because I was curious, I called Augie because some of the things we included in this document came from the meeting Ed and I had with Augie over the summer. So I was curious to hear what Augie thought and he loved what we did. And he had had a brief conversation with Dan Sarnoff and he thought Dan was happy with what we did. But, uh, you know, Jerry was out on vacation. I think when we first sent the email to them, so they weren't going to get back to us, obviously, without Jerry's input. And I don't know what's happened. So, you know, to me, this is somewhat time sensitive. But Tom has definitely said we need staff input before we put stuff in front of the board. But if we're not getting responses, then we our hands are tied. And this uh, is sensitive. again, Ellen. What I would suggest there's a lot going on, and I can't go through it all with you. Yep. Uh, but I would, if you want 
to get stuff in front of the board, I would send it to st the board and staff at the same time, and what you know, as all of the addressees, and okay. request, request a meeting to, to discuss it and trying to be in a way to be as helpful as we can to the board. Period. And not mention that staff has not responded. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't no, take that. No. Okay. Fine. Don't do that. Yep. I'll. Well. Well. If, if I'm sorry, but. I would I would offer that perhaps Charles should send that email because he would be including presumably the capital document as well as the budget document and in his role as chair in requesting the committee I think um, the meeting with the trustees I think should come from the chair. That's fine. I, I agree. I, all this should be uh, all all this should be from, from you guys. And through through the chair. Okay, okay, I will do that. Um, thoughts about if it's it, it is it just a reapproach, kind of requesting the meeting, and this time including the board of trustees. It'll be very similar to the language that Ellen used directly to the staff, and it would just include the board this time. Um, I, I would do by, that, but by, I also would. I would also say the budget season is coming up, and we want you want you want to be as helpful to the board as possible through that process. And because we're changing the order of, we're recommending changes to the order of events. It's really critical that this get looked at sooner rather than later, or it doesn't go into effect until the following year. Mm -hmm. And if we're trying to streamline stuff for Jerry, Augie, Dan, and the department heads and use their time more effectively, you know, we, the sooner the better. Okay. So Glenn, um, Glenn I have a question for you. Yeah. You, you never responded that you were okay with this document. So I took your silence as you were okay. Oh, I did uh, send that. I'm sorry you didn't get that. I, I, um, I did respond. You had sent the second one if I was okay. Maybe I sent it and it was um, to somebody else too. But I, <laughs> I, I say okay. Okay, good. I figured if you had an issue, I would have heard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, not me. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> well, th thanks again for taking the lead on this, Ellen. It's, it's really a, a, quite an impressive document and clearly a, an enormous amount of work went into it. So thank you. Well, a lot of help from Len also. And mm -hmm. Ed, it's the three of us. One writes, one edits, one reviews. <laughs> we're, we're all in it together. Thank you, Ellen. Thank awesome. You. Uh, no, thanks everyone. Yeah, it's, it's really fantastic. Um, I, I guess we're at an impasse for the time being with next steps with this. So we'll we'll uh, we'll go from there. And then just lastly on the agenda for the evening, which relates to the document, is you know where we see our next steps going. You know, next month's meeting and beyond, um, and how we transition at this point. I, I guess you know, feedback regarding meeting with the board regarding this document, that this could all gain momentum with our working further with it. But in the meantime, if anybody wanted to make some suggestions about where they see our, our, our attention <coughs> going next. Well, except part of this, the latter part of this document is the schedule for the, the our committee. So we've basically yep. done the agenda for us Can I, make, can I make a suggestion of where you may want to go from here? Yep. Why don't you suggest a separate invitation to Augie to attend the next meeting to, uh, on how we can be of help to him as we are moving forward into the budget season? Now, that's a, I think that's a great Augie idea. and... Augie and Jerry, or just Augie, um, 
if it's just Augie, why just Augie, et cetera. Yeah, uh, Augie and Jerry um, is fine. Um, or what about Dan Sarnoff? You could do all three. You could do all them. three, but all three are not going to come. So the question. Right. You know, in the past, you've asked that you wanted to meet with Augie. Augie said he's willing to meet. Just, yep. you know, um, uh, Jerry has an inordinate amount of things on his shoulder. I, you know, what I would suggest is you might want to copy them. Uh, uh, do it any way you want. I don't really care, but I think I think that in order to be productive, you may not get an answer from the board for you know for weeks. Okay. Or more, <laughs> or ever. So, rather than sitting and spinning wheels and you know just you know talking with each other, I think the more that you could find a way to meet with somebody who has input would help in terms of trying to. And what I'm thinking specifically is how we can get different reports more meaningful that are done by the village. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that, that, that's a thought that I had, that was all. Well, on this schedule, what? we don't really have anything for our December meeting. So that might be a perfect opportunity. So I'm agreeing with Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's a good idea to meet with the staff. Very okay. good idea. Uh, and I would I would invite all three, but in, if, you're, if you're writing the email, Charles, perhaps just say, uh, well, it'd be great to have all three of you, um, you know, either Jerry, Dan, and or, or, or Augie would be fine as well, because we want to try to be helpful. So that's gonna that's gonna be an email from um, from Charles or or is, is is Dan doing that directly? No, it comes from directly from the chair uh, on behalf of the committee. Okay. Right. I think that's a good idea. Now, could this since Charles is is writing this email with the two documents, would we include it in that email? that invitation, or is that a separate communication just directly with them along with you, Dan, copying you so that, you know, we're inviting them to attend the next meeting. Um, whoever can come, who's ever available, that would be great. You know, sort of to discuss further the, the approaches that um, were in the two documents. So something, I, how, you suggest making that all in one document? Definitely go, not do it all in one because it will be misconstrued. Yeah, yeah, it could be because the first email goes to the full board as well as the staff. Yeah. And then the second email, presumably. Yeah, but it, it, it means that you want to talk specifically with staff about the document that you're sending them. And there'll be, there's some that are receptive to that and there's some that are not. So why, why cross that bridge? And so just to, uh, it, this is a couple of words in the second email, if you will now. Um, the intent of inviting them to next month's meeting is presumably to get feedback about how we can best dedicate our efforts within the schedule framework that we've put together you know what we're I looking at on the screen I, I wouldn't say that charles it's just how not the scheduled framework because that may not be approved it's how can right. we help them throughout the budget process how can we what sorry i didn't hear you help them oh yeah right you know just a general yep. question i like it That is the general idea. Okay, cool. 
that was it as far as the agenda. Uh, does anyone have anything else uh, they want to address? And otherwise we can make a motion to adjourn. That was quick. I'll move to adjourn. That was. <laughs> we have a second. <laughs> I'll I second. second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Have a good Thanksgiving um, in the meantime. You too. Uh, thank, thank you, all. Charles. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you all for your time and your energy and your uh, really devotion to try and help the village. I think that it's tremendously admirable. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Likewise. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dan. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.